now the starting group for the visitors. We've got a terrific low post matchup tonight, Doris. Two of the top big men in the league going head-to-head. -head. Kevin, these are two teams that try to get their centers as many touches as possible. They are the axis upon which these offenses rotate, and how much the defense can guard that entry pass will be a key tonight. It's deflected to the wing right side. Drains it from beyond the arc. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. From six feet. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Yeah, he earned that one. I mean, taking the hit and still able to get that one to go down. And the three off target. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Got a hand on it, and he recovers it. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Yeah, outstanding the the job OBT. there of taking Number the four. harm and still able to four. finish. And the free throw, no good. Gone just one of four to get this game started. First quarter, about a minute and a half in. Down to five on the shot clock. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one. Second team foul. He's off on the first. At the line for your home team, number four. At the line for two. And the second free throw, good. Gone two or three here to start out the game. We're just about two minutes into the first quarter. Yep, it counts. He has five. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. They know that if this guy goes off, their chances of winning rise exponentially. Knocks it loose. Five on the clock. Fades back. The shot will not fall. Boy, he's definitely covered well there. And hey, we know he can knock down the fadeaway shot. Just didn't fall there. And the officials signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. And that kind of stifling effort on defense needs another look. And making a statement right away. Letting them know they won't get any easy ones when he's around. And with their offense sputtering, coaches got to get them back on track. And to me, they're just taking too many tough shots. And when they do get an easy one, the confidence just isn't there. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes play. Well, he's got a great stroke. That one almost dropped. Five to shoot. The rim rattling two handed jam. Yeah, that's a great setup. Screen the defender off and let him elevate. Oh, right. And wasn't the timing ideal? My goodness. The D with no chance to react. Uh, the execution was simply flawless. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you run that play. 
Unbelievable. Hey, look at that. Look, guys. No clue what went wrong there. Wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the mark. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, that, their offense has ground to a standstill. And that one ends up out of bounds. And they retain possession. On defense, the visitors. Knocked loose. That one falls his second basket of the game. He's now two for three. And now another look at that great drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. It's all about the ability to get two feet in the paint, whether it's creating for a teammate or for yourself. To the paint. And he banks in the lane. Seven points in the game. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rack. And, and where's the help defensively? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. Lock at six. Up again. Great positioning on the putback. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. 130 left to play in the first. And that one is stuffed right through. There it is, guys. One of those effort plays that makes a big difference in the game. And GA, it is definitely making a difference so far today. No doubt. On the scoreboard, in the body language of the players, you can tell which team is in complete command. Gone six of nine, shooting it well. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. No, I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Shooting for the away team. Number five, taking two shots. First free throw is good. Off on that one, so he goes one for two at the line. Gone 0 of 2 from deep here. From outside the arc, gets that one to drop. First one of the game after four straight misses. You know, maybe he's not one of the elite sharpshooters, but even still, that's not a shot that he can afford to give him. To the middle. Plays it up and banks it in. He's got nine. Number and those seven. are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. There's 31 seconds left in the first quarter. And they get it back. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul. Shot misses. He'll be shooting two. And the first one drops. At the line for your home team, number and that's good as he hits both of his shots. 26 seconds left to play here in the first. I got yours, I got yours. Oh, 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 oh. 15 seconds left in the first quarter. Six on the shot clock. Elbow shot. And it's off the back rim, no good. And he trains the three, but let's see. They may need to review it. I'm not sure the ball was out of his hand in time. And indeed, they're going to look at it again. They need to be certain he beat the buzzer. And the NBA replay center in Secaucus is queuing it up. And even before we look at the replay, I'm pretty sure he got that off in time. It's the end of the first with a tie game. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even so far in the scoreboard. And guys, what's your take on the home team so far? Just cashing in on second chance opportunities. That's how they built this early lead. Yeah, the defense hasn't been there. They are getting hammered on second chance opportunities. 
shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Second personal foul. First Green, you look at a player putting up big numbers on a losing team. How do you determine if those are quality numbers, so to speak? You know, Kevin, it's a great question because somebody's going to put up points or collect rebounds or get assists. So, you know, you look at efficiency, you look at effort, and there's no doubt that you can have winning players on losing team. Right wing. Here's the three. The shot that time, not on target. He takes it in. Pass to Prez. Goes up from the top of the key. Tries again. It's tipped, and he gets it back. They shoot again. And we're now about a minute and a half into the second quarter. A miss that time would have put him up. Well, defenses are content to give up the mid-range, right? It's not the high percentage restricted area or the three. You can see they're prepared to give up that shot. Quarter number two, we're about two minutes in. And it's blocked, and it's gonna be out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. Substitution on the court. Six to shoot. Out left to the wing. There's the triple. He doesn't hit that one. Gone 0-3 and are still looking for that first bucket here in the second quarter. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Fires from deep. That's good. Basket number five on a five for eight night shooting. This guy a tough cover for any defender. Creative and assertive scoring the ball. To the inside. To end the cold streak. And the officials call him for a three second violation. The ball goes to the away team. Gotten only one of their first four shots in the second quarter to drop. About three minutes gone in the second quarter of basketball. Down low. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Ball's knocked loose. And that goes out of bounds. No keep possession. Shot clock at five. But Trey, and they force the shot clock violation. Great team. Gone two of five from the field here in the second quarter, shooting 40%. There's the lob to the hoop. Number four. Adding to their advantage, trying to find a way to blow this one open. One of the things they're doing is identifying favorable matchups and then going at them. And that outstanding drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. And it's finishes like that which have helped them build this lead here in the first half. 
And no doubt, Coach wants them to shore up their interior defense. I think right now they're giving up way too many easy looks. That is a recipe for disaster. And the home team has possession. Nothing offensively yet from them in the second quarter. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. First personal foul, first team foul. At the line for the first one falls. Number four, taking two shots. Both shots good from the strike. Gone 50% from the floor in the second quarter, three of six. Two minutes remaining in the first half, two minutes. We've got 155 left to play here in the second quarter. Inside. From 15 feet away. That's tipped. Banked in off the glass. Well, use the pick and going right to the cup. I love the aggressiveness. One twenty-one left in the first half of the game. Bangs home the trifecta. 15 points in the game. What a great shooting performance. His percentage is outstanding. Just five on the clock. And he throws it down hard with one hand. And just a terrific effort on the offensive glass. That's how they're going to cut into this lead. And Greg, a, a dunk like that is sure to give them a spark. And that one is hammered home. That's what he gives you, a big-time presence on the glass. And you know what, Greg? Once he gets his hands on it, he's not even thinking about kicking it out. <laughs> no reason to do so there. He was going to leave, no doubt. He really left alone that time. Yes. Great finish. What a setup. Terrific ball movement there. Gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. Poked away. With four seconds on the clock, he takes it up and lays it in. When you allow good scores to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. And that concludes the first half. Up 11. And we'll be back right after halftime to get the third quarter underway. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Boy, we think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Gone 3-6 to six tonight when they've let it fly from downtown. Not a piece of it. Here we go. One on one. A three ball. The shot comes out. And they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three point play. Shot's good. And, and with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. No doubt about it, he has done a ton to help his team, but he's going to have to do even more if they want to have a chance to get back in this one. 
they get a hand on it. And the whistle blows on the backcourt violation. He went over and back. He, he got a little ahead of himself there trying to pull the team even. Well, that's a big miscue. And you hate to see that happen at this point in the game. Getting another opportunity here to see that powerful rejection. And, and guys, they'll think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big-time rejection. Little over a minute gone here in the second half. Out to the right wing. Shot clock at six. From 17 feet out. And he dumps it down. Nice job cleaning some space out under the boards and setting himself up there for the putback. And not just any old putback, Clark, but a big, big foul. That one, no good. No one to blame on that one but himself. You get looks like that, you've got to take advantage. And there it is for him. You know, he's flat fueling their success. Most of the offense has gone through him. And we're just around two minutes into the final half of play now. The three. And the three ball is good. He's got 12. You simply must play better defense than that. This guy is too good from distance. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First personal foul, second team foul. First one falls for him. At the line for the away team. Number 13. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Well, this guy has multiple ways to get to the free throw line. And boy, has his stroke been on the money. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Fires the three. That shot missing. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Quick shot there, and it's off target. Gone two of five, shooting here in the third quarter. Out to the right wing. To the right side. Let's it go from 11. That one a little long. Gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Third quarter action at just under three and a half minutes have gone. To the left side wing. Just five to shoot. Here he goes. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. First team foul. Team. Number 15. That free throw, no good. Second free throw, no good. Gone three of seven on field goal attempts here in the second half. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And, folks, he did not luck into that one. He knew just where he wanted to be to grab that backboard. Three-pointer. He can't get it to go. Gone 4 of 9 from the floor so far in the third. 139 left to play in the third. Let's it fly from 18. Number and he seven. nails the jumper. Assisted He's got six. Number five. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. One eleven left in the third. To end the drought, it's deflected. 
driving the lane. Cross contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. One shot. Yeah, they're rolling right now. That lead continues to grow. And one of the things that's helped that is they're getting it done on both ends. Terrific focus on offense, and they're timeout, locked timeout. in defensively. You know, I think one thing Coach Sorry. will address in this timeout right now is you're missing a lot of shots. Why not become more of a facilitator out there? Fans, make some noise for your There's 45 seconds left to play here in the third. It's tipped. Pulls up on the elbow. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Gone two or seven from the field in the third. That leaves room for improvements here. Over to the wing. Two seconds separate in the shot clock and game clock. Clock at six. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Second two foul. At the line for your home team, number 15. Two shots. And that one misses. Good on the second free throw. Seven seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Gets it off. No good on the last second attempt there. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blow. Our State Farm assist of the game. Uh, just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? We call that putting it right in the pocket. And he knew what to do with it once it was there. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. Six to shoot. Jacks up a three. No good. Shot missing. Gone three of seven tonight from three-point territory. He gets it in there. Well, this is what you're trying to do. Put the game away. And he hasn't forced much tonight. I love the efficiency he's giving to them. Hey, yeah, yeah, right here. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. How about the concentration? He gets hit, but stays with the play and gets the finish. 60 seconds off the clock here in the fourth. now made half of those 10 shots in the game. That's his fifth basket. And nice job taking what the defenders gave him. But these guys need a gut check right now. Well, simply stated, simply not enough effort. Not enough attention to detail. They've gotten run over this evening. Good timing. They're really struggling offensively. Sometimes it just feels like misses become contagious. He wants to settle his guys down right now. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the fourth quarter. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. Pretty dime there. The kind of ball movement coaches love to see. And that one misses. Being a smooth 58% from the field. Everything going according to plan for them on that end. Well, nice job crashing the glass. You'd love to see that kind of effort. And it goes down two points. 
Well, you like how aggressive he is making a play at the rim against length. You have got to believe that you can score against size on the interior. How about the aggressive, assertive move there? Oh, what an impressive dribble drive. That replay brought to you by Mobile One. And I just love his competitiveness he, he's Number showing 15. there. And T might be down, but a drive like that could spark them. Misses from short range. Gone three of four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. And he pulls off the Houdini to make that catch and slam it through. Stupendous alley-oop. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here, we're just over two and a half minutes into it. And he makes that one. Yeah, the D has not been able to keep the ball out of the paint at that end of the floor. Makes it off the glass. 19 points in the game. You can see why they go to this guy so often. More often than not, he's going to be very efficient like he is right here. Thirteen feet away. Not going to go that time. I'm sure if he had the chance to do that possession over again, he would not have taken the shot. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. And he takes the fantastic lead pass up strong for the slam. That's how you share the rock. He does this time and time again. Hey, yo. Just five on the clock. That's all you. The shot, no good. Gotten it done so far from the field here on the fourth. Going six for seven. One fifty-three left in the fourth quarter of this one. Whistle blows, bucket is good, and he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Both teams deciding to change it up. Number four, one shot. That's all you, baby. Gone four of eight in this fourth quarter, shooting at even 50% from the field. Six on the shot clock. And no good, the dry spell continuing for him. Pass to ABC. Pass to Ujar. One oh three left to play here in the fourth. Down to five on the shot clock. Nifty move. It's good. And here is Prez. Pass to Ujar. Here's ABC. Clock at six. Elbow shot is on the way. They get it again. 20 seconds left in the fourth. Takes the three. To the wing right side. He couldn't stay in bounds, and that's going to be a turnover. The away team. Coming onto the floor for the away team, Kiba, number nine. And
And so the road team gets the W in this one. That's this crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. Yeah, you know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Doris Burke, David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, 